years. I haven't heard about it really. I haven't been paying attention. Um, no, well, let's see what happens. Um, let's see what they do. I kind of double dare them here. You know, I want to speak first to this recall process because it's, it's, it's fascinating to me. And some people have touched upon this, but it's important. We say we want some quality, certain qualities from our politicians, right? We say we want them to be true to their convictions. We say we want them to do what they say they're going to do. We say we want them to be a champion for the rule of law. We say that we want them to commit themselves to the conservative cause. And then when we get it, we don't know what to do. We, we criticize the people who embody those exact qualities we want so bad. And it's interesting because it's rare. District 18 has someone that's rare. honest man. He's a good man. He has stood steadfast to his principles, ever aware of the responsibility required to be a servant to the cause of liberty. And that is exactly why he deserves our support, our time, our commitment, our attention, our contributions, and he deserves and has earned the vote from District 18. Now, now, my last thing here, I just want to take a minute and talk about you guys, District 18. I know that this recall and the media glare that has come with it has been hard for you. Many of you are frustrated, upset, angry. Some are anxious about the future views about this process. Some of you are even scared, and I want you to know something, okay? So I really want you to listen up here. This recall, as tough as it is, is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to bind not only District 18, but the state of Arizona together. We will be stronger because of this. This will also be an opportunity to reignite our commitment to our conservative principles, the very principles that Senator Russell Pierce has been fighting for his entire career. I also want you to remember, guys, the same hammer that breaks glass also forges the strongest steel. And it is not the pounding from the, at the hammer of life that will break you. It is the material you are made of. So are you glass, District 18, or are you steel? I'm going to kind of go with your steel. You're strong, and the people that represent you should be proud to have you as a district. But you're going to need to be strong because you've been taking a beating. You've been kicked. You have. You've been kicked in the gut, and it hurts. It's not fun, you don't like it, doesn't feel good. But you know what? You know what you do when you're kicked? You just determine which way you're gonna go. And my suggestion is, you go to the ballot box and you vote. And you take, you take your family, you take your friends, you take your coworkers, you take that guy you just drove by and you wait in the ballot box, all of them and you motivate them and you motivate them to vote because it's with the power of your vote and with a unified voice you're going to say Jerry Lewis your 15 minutes are over Russell Pierce is our senator thank you